Hello everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 3, the remake. This is part 5 of our playthrough. Uh, if you remember the last episode, the train that we spent so much time getting up and running has been destroyed by Nemesis. All the civilians we were trying to save died. Uh, we did fight Nemesis on the roof of a building. Jill thought we got him. We didn't get him. He jumped off with a giant rocket launcher, chased us through the town. Uh, we made our way through the Raccoon Police Department as Carlos. So we got to see his luxurious hair as we explored that police department, which is actually the place where uh, Resident Evil 2 takes place at the very beginning. Uh, so that was kind of neat. Uh, we are now here in the sewers as Jill after the subway crashed with her on it. And so we'll take it away and see how this goes. Not do a quick turn. Jill with our trusty knife and the magic assault rifle that we got somehow. Let's see what we can find. What was... Okay, I thought they were rolling. I was like, wait, why are there acrobatic zombies? And then I thought something was dragging them in. Ooh, bad shot, Ooh, bad shot, Ooh, bad shot. Oh, come on, Jill. There's some good shots. Nothing like wasting some bullets right out the gate. Stabby stab. There's the sigh of death. Oh y'all. Sigh of death. I poke him in the butt. Alright, I don't know about you, but if that was me getting poked in the butt like that. Are these cells? Oh, by the way, being poked in the butt comment, uh, I would definitely wake up. <laughs> Hiding under that bench like a creeper. Hello, Tom. Hello, Dan. And you can be Steve. If you shoot zombies in the mouth, they cannot bite you. Right? That's how that works. I need that side of death. Thank you. death. You were Steve, right? Alright, Steve's dead. Oh, we got a ladder. Oh, yes! Concrete! We can sink him in the river. Some concrete shoes, eh? Ah, fresh air. Walker's still alive. I can't stay here. That was Nemesis? That was the Nemesis screen, huh? That, that's great. We gotta get around the river. Or as Pocahontas would say, just around the river bend. Alright. Let's see what we can find. Ominous rumblings in the distance. Another one. Yes, we are on a roll. Two in one day, guys. We're doing good. Alright. Do a quick look see down here. Make sure there's no. Aha! Clock Town. Clock Tower brochure. Here's a clock tower, it's broken. We'll fix it. I assume I, I, yeah, I honestly didn't read it. Oh no, oh no! Why did it explode? Get in the river. Uh, oh, refreshing. Bitch can't swim. Wow, Jill, that's pretty cocky of you. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? We didn't make it. The train derailed. Derailed? Was anyone hurt? Yeah. Everybody's dead. <clears throat> Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Keep moving, Jill. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh my Get god. Back. Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! 
Is he bigger? He's bigger. Like that's gonna stop him. He's huge. Jump. No, no, Jill. Now is not the time to be falling over. Oh my god. I'll fall over again. At least he's got a cape to stay decent. We need our nemesis decent. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There's some ammo there. How would you like me to defeat that? Oh. I have got to rekey that dodge button. Woo! Well, I mean, I don't think it really actually hit me. Or... Oh my god. Nemesis, heal. Heal, boy, heal. <laughs> oh, it probably wants me to use the um, mine rounds. That's probably what it wants. I got it. We're gonna hit with another flame round. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm gonna miss for. I get it, I get it, I get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, that was... That was... stuff up while he's doing that. Like, well, that's not, that's like a hot dog. I'm not sure why I thought that was something useful. It was a hot dog. Where'd he go? Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Nemesis, we talked about this, buddy. We don't throw fits. <laughs> yeah, you go up there again. Yeah, buddy. You want a shortcut to here. I can get a mine in front of it. Come on. Oh no. You're about to take a nasty fall. Oh 
if I did that right or not. Oh, he's spitting right. on me. No. Let's do this. Shoot him in the mouth. Suck it. Jill, we, we need those. Jill, Jill we, we, we needed those for, for later. Carlos, you still there? <coughs> oh, come on. You're gonna crap out on me now? We're gonna go collect some ammo. Yes, please. And we got this box. Mm. Got some herbs. Some of that primo herb. That primo green herb. We mixed it with the red herb for an extra little kick. Anything over here? No, just fire. Just general death and destruction. Wow. A lot of help. A lot of help. Pull out my trusty handgun. Don't touch it. <clears throat> just run. Shut the gate on it. Yeah, that. There you go. Take the arm. Oh. Oh, God. Ow. Hold that out. Oh, Jill. Interest. You've done me a big favor. <laughs> you piece of shit, Nikolai. <laughs> hmm. Could have been poison. Roughly half a day later. <gasps> Carl. Jill! <clears throat> hey, answer me. She coughed up a lot of blood, damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Good guy, Maybe Carlos. Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. How about a... Don't trust a lot. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. Aid spray. Got anything interesting in here? Ah, typewriter. Better save. Anything worthwhile? Do we need to make room? Store that. It's all right, Blamo. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. Jeez. It's pretty loud. 
Tyrell's a good guy. Some, some crutches, still crutches help. Healthy family is a happy family. That's just a creepy poster all around. For state's brain. Ooh, ammo. Kinda kinda hospital is this? Assault rifle ammo just laying everywhere. The lab in the back. Oh no! Oh! Hey! You have to pay for the sodas. I don't got time for this! They are not free. Oh my god. I never said Carlos was a good shot. <clears throat> oh no. Oh no. They're getting up. Anybody else want some free coats? That's what I thought. I'm gonna pay for them. Like responsible adults. Oh, you too? Sit down. Ooh. Ah! Ah, just that sweeping strike, just ah, cutting them all up. Bunch of thieves. Yoink. I mean, uh, well, I did say yoink. Carlos is a thief too. Whereas they're trying to steal cokes, I'm stealing the potted plant off the desk. Be a nifty hat to pick up and wear around. Carlos, you want a cowboy hat? Carlos, you don't. Have a lockpick. Hmm. Maybe I get to play as Jill. Oh, well, there's something outside. What was that? What the heck was that? It was not that. Almost sound like somebody was taking a nail and running it down a guitar string. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Oh. Sure. Examine. Can't play. There's no tapes. <laughs> Who's hitting harp scores and stuff? Nurse's journal. Every day they bring in more of these mystery illness patients. The sedatives do not stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move them to the isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. The seams of the straight jackets? The director has ordered us to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. What does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all that's bothered me. When these patients die, they're not collected by the usual mortuary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading, but I'm not sure I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door during the night. Why? Where? What's going on? <clears throat> Seems a little suspicious and kind of going along with what's going on right now in the world. <laughs> uh... Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Thanks, Carlos. <coughs> for saying it. Ooh. You're alive. Everybody gets one. And then we speed up the pace. Remember, I said everybody gets one. No, no, no. Nope. 
Sigh of Death. Creepy hand poster. <laughs> My sweet dodging skill is startling him back to the ground. Hey, buddy. No, no, not today. Social distancing. No, you can't come in. No, I don't. I don't care. No, there's nobody here. It's just me. I'm sorry. He's upsetty spaghetti. Who? Oh my god, oh no, 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 no. No! Uncalled for. Lunge at me. There's a lot of blood going in here. Oh, look, a teddy bear. That's been sewn to get. Oh, that's just the stitching. It looked like it had been sewn together, like pieced together. Food. Mm, we got some. What looks like a pine cone, some bread, and something else. We got nothing. Nothing. <sighs> Block. It almost sounds like a door opening. What? Oh, it's heads pressed open. Nope. See you guys later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that door's locked. That's right. Y'all never gonna catch me. Just like that, the greased up guy from Family Guy. <clears throat> this is a health issue. I am OSHA. Oh, this is a health issue as well. Uh, and that, and that, I'm gonna have to write y'all some citations. Uh, Dr. Barry, can you hear the sign for this? The roof? Ooh, there's another one of those things. But this guy's alive. Not anymore, he's not. I thought that was the key card. It's a fucking paintbrush. <laughs> All right. Handgun ammo. Down the hall, or around the corner. <laughs> That's the sound of a safety room. Mix. Goodbye. Alright, we can save. We got time to go a little further. Notes. Admitted over 20 mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibited severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. <laughs> Possible infection? T tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients, where he disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. <laughs> Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We have to go contain this chaos. Well, besides people biting each other, it's getting really close to what's going on right now again. <laughs> I'll just store that for now, and we'll save. Carlos. All right. Ooh, more ammo. <coughs> what can they give Carlos? Oh, map of the hospital. Nice. Heck yeah. Where's that map? So if I go down here, it's a living room, treatment room, nurse station, sick room. This leads to the staff room, so this, we'll go this way first. Oh my god! The amount of blood in here is overwhelming. Alright. Alright. Jesus 
Christ. It's like these guys are just sitting in here and then all hell broke loose. Alright. This can't go well. There's five zombie bodies. Oops. We tried, I swear to god we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spreading the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying. Those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the cries for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it will be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking, but I want to live. I want to live. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other thinking a rescue team was on the way. But the sound grew distant and we all were left and now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Arena, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota, I'm sorry I failed you, something's coming. Help. Mm. <coughs> Where'd it come from? Oh, ammo. ID cars are not taken off hospital grounds. Huh. And of course it's locked. No, uh, just just shiny because of blood. <laughs> to the nurse station. So I know what I have the recorder for, so I can record his voice and play for the door. Oh, it's that door. <laughs> Both those doors. Safe. Oh, she's alive. We got a live one. Y'all, Tom and Brady. You could be Christopher. Why do I need the zombies? I'm just gonna make them more personable. <clears throat> Missing tape. And a treatment room. Alright. Stay down. Oh, you were alive too, this whole time. That's the side death that there was one. I don't have that. You're dead. What? What is that noise? Oh, herb. Ooh, I got a caught her on that back <laughs> back bowl. Alright. A grenade. That's how I like to treat my patients with a grenade. Alright, uh, doctor, I don't feel good. Here, take this grenade. Where really? Met down with you. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's just try this, eh? Maybe in the off chance. Yep, that's what I thought. Whoosh. Whoosh. Okay, so I can go out there. Somebody's not keeping their PPE clean. It's supposed to be sterile equipment. Nothing. Alright. What out the window? Can I get back in the window? No, we're just on the first floor now. Oh, 
Are you kidding me? I should have jumped out that window. Emergency exit to our right. Oh, it's by the creepy bear. And that guy. Alright. What would be the point of me going outside, though? He asked as he ran back outside. Oh. A locker key. Oh. Ooh, I don't want to do this. Yes. Aha! I just ran right over that. Now, we go to the locker room. It's gotta be upstairs. Yeah, it's in that staff room. Which just so happens to be around the room. And, where am I at? down this hall. Perfect. I'm gonna store that, store that, store that, and store that for now. Reload. We know it's safe. Resident Evil games, the room stays safe. All the time. Use. Don't need that key anymore. But we're gonna put it in the box because we don't throw stuff away in Resident Evil games either. Yeah, in Resident Evil games either. There's me a badass hat again. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw it, but I actually jumped. Screw you. John Ralph, orthopedic doctor. Sweet, thanks John Ralph. I wasn't expecting the fucking zombie in the cabinet trick. We got the key card though. Oh no. No. No! I put all my stuff away. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, he's fast! Just run, just run, just run. Just run, just keep running. See, Carlos doesn't... Doesn't, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Like, dodge. He just kind of, like, checks him. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and end that episode there. So thank you for tuning in to episode 5 of our Resident Evil 3 Remake playthrough. Uh, if you liked what you saw, consider giving me that thumbs up button. If there's something I missed that you want to let me know about, consider leaving me a comment down below. And if you want to see future content from me, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean a lot. We did just hit 50 subscribers. Uh, so we're halfway there to getting our custom URL. And uh, a lot more changes are going to be you know, happening as this whole thing continues on. 
So again, thank you all for checking out the channel. Thank you for liking this video, and I'll see you in the next one.